All right, what's up guys? So today we are working on the bike again. We're actually going to uh, change out the brakes. So here's what we have. I got the TRP DHR Evos and uh, disc rotors, 2.3 millimeter, crazy Taiwanese. Everyone, everyone is like 1.8 millimeter, 2.0 millimeter. They're like, fuck it, we're gonna go with 2.3. So the reason why, uh, the, the Magura MT5s are working extremely well. I mean, I love these brakes. The modulation is good. Braking power is good, but you know what? Every single time I turn on video on YouTube, everyone is raving about these brakes and take a look. So I went with silver. All right, so I know they have gold which pops, um, but I'm going to match my um, five def cranks and of course match the uh, uh, push industry shock. So got to go with the silver, even though the factory, um, you know, Kashima is gold, but man, it's going to look sick. I can't wait. Oh, by the way, I also got MTX pads. Um, so the only, the only small downside of these TRP brakes that I've seen on all the reviews, videos, is that the stock brake pads uh, squeal a lot. They make these uh, uh, squeaking noise. And um, I've also seen many, many people change to this aftermarket MTX braking. And heck, man, it's also made in Taiwan, so. All right, so we are going to swap out the brakes now. So the first step would be to remove the front wheel this send the axle all right done so all right so let's take off the front first i think this is a two and a half yep okay okay all right all right that's one break off all right so now we're going to uh bleed and let all the fluid out from the rear brake and in order to let all the brake fluid out Brake oil, we're gonna loosen this. Now we can withdraw all the fluid out. Look at that, Magura Royal Blood. All right, so we got everything. So I'm just gonna undo this. Next step would be we have to connect this banjo bolt, this cable to our new cable. So, all right, so loosen all this. So we have to cut it. All right, cut to the right. Okay, clear some space. Here's the caliper. Whew, sick. Uh, we will need to cut this. Cut. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take this off first so I don't accidentally drop the freaking caliper. Okay, so now we are ready to use the rock shock barb. What you wanna do is to line up both ends and then kind of thread them and make sure they are extremely tight. So I would just kind of keep threading them. It should, both sides should go in equally. Yeah, it's going in nicely. And you just want to, um, you want to thread until you see this barbell coming from the other side, obviously. So this is, we're going to thread and push on one end and pull on the other. So begin, all right, okay. All right, so barb is in. And we just don't want to, there you go. Just don't want to pull without pushing. Try the other side. You just want to have patience. You don't want to overdo anything. Oh, uh, there you go. Oh, shoot. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. All right. Well, that's fucked up. All right, so that didn't work. So we are going to drop the motor. Um, <laughs> you know, shit happens. So, I mean, you can cry about it, or you can do something about it. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine. When you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. All right, so I've taken the motor cover off. Now we have to take the cranks off. So, kind of sucks we have to drop the motor. But hey, you know what? I secretly kind of wanted to do this before also. Okay, all right. One crank off. All right, so remove the cranks. I have to remove the uh, chain ring to get to some of these bolts, I think. So you need a special tool, I think. All right, so it turns out we don't have the special tool for this. Anyways, 
Um, I'll have to buy the tool. I uh, think it's gonna come in a couple of days. Finish today with the, uh, the fronts first. All right, front. Woohoo! damn, brah. We are gonna just kind of mock up and put it here first. All right, we're just gonna leave it like that for now. All right, so kind of just like throw this on first. All right, so that's pretty good. All right, so now we're gonna mock proximate length. Da -da 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 all right, so what we are needing to put in is number one, the sleeve, number two, the bolt, thread aside towards the brake, of course, the crush bolt, put this in here, and then just kind of clamp it down, and then slowly, I don't know if you can see, you can see this, push it in. I don't need the sleeve for now. Okay, everything, all right, make sure I got everything. All right, in. In, 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 cool. Six to eight. All right, six to eight. Let's get our tool. So we're gonna attach this tool on. All right, look at that, bro. So now we're gonna bleed it. Um, so the bleed port is over here. All right, so this bleed port bolt, it's actually a T15. We're going to loosen the top and it's kind of tight. So, all right, not too bad. Let's try this if it fits. Okay, that feels pretty good, pretty good fit. Push the fluid in from the bottom, watch it fill up. There you go. I'm gonna tap a few times to see if there's any more air coming out. And then we're gonna just use a little gentle wrench to tap all the Tubings. What we're gonna do is basically do a quick swap. All right, all right, cool. Clean this area off. All right, do a quick swap, and then press it in. Yeah, boy. Okay, that feels pretty good. Yeah, let's do that. Let's swap out the rotors. All right, so all six bolts are off. Rotor is off. Keep it clean. Don't touch the metal part. I got the 223 here. Again, absolutely do not want to touch the rotor. Got new bolts here. So you hold it right there. Get all the bolts and then just hand, kind of hand thread them in first. Okay, you want to do it in a star pattern. Cool. All right, so we're done with the front. So we're going to do the rear. And the only difference is uh, you got to swap this uh, magnet over. So everything else is the same. Cool. All right, quick intermittent update. So I was even having trouble to route this part down here. So I use a um, magnet. I routed here. I took this off. So, um, but in order to route here all the way to the head tube, we would still have to drop the motor. So uh, chain ring tool wouldn't get here until tomorrow. So we we'll just have to wait. All right, so we are back at it. Uh, we finally got the tool, the chain ring tool you need, and it goes on this uh, uh, this piece which locks the chain ring on, and then you essentially uh, turn it clockwise to loosen it. So, um, and then you need this 36 mil socket to turn it. All right, so we got it loose. So the next step is to drop the motor. So there should be one, two, three, four, five, six, six bolts. I was told I shouldn't be using uh, my torque wrench to loosen bolts. So, so let's use this to loosen. All right, so I think there's six bolts. Cool, let's loosen this one. All right, so what we need to do is make some space so we can route the cable, um, the hose rather. All right, so as you can see, I took this off so I can route this. Problem, oh, here you go. So the barb connects the two hoses and it gets here and it gets super kinked up. And then uh, obviously, you know, with my crazy muscles, I pulled the shit out of it and it came off. 
but this design, I don't know, man. All right, so according to this uh, blue paper, it actually goes on the um, top of the down tube. Oh, I think I'm getting close. I'm getting close. Okay, I'm gonna feed more. All right, so uh, kind of funny because I actually fished out our wire on this side, but we're supposed to go on the other side. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull it out and then I'm gonna loop it to the other side. <laughs> oh my God, fellas, we've done it. Fellas, we did it. We did it. Holy shiza, after all that. All right, so we've put Loctite on every single bolt. Now we just gotta torque every single one of them to 12. Six, done. All right, so now we are just going to do everything in reverse and then obviously followed by uh, bleeding the brakes. So this is a good opportunity to clean everything. And um, yeah, that's really it. All right, so as you can see, we are done. Uh, essentially, I installed this, the other crank, and then put the wheels on, uh, put the MTX brake pads in, and then center them. The, yeah, it's like really centered. No sound whatsoever, so that's good. Obviously, I bleeded the brake. Uh, bleeded, bled the brake. You can see, man, that looks sexy as fuck. So, honestly, it's just this kink. Uh, there's some for people on the forums that said they removed this part to allow the uh, smooth transitioning with the uh, barb connector. And honestly, dropping motor, if I have to do it again, it'll be easy. The only thing you need to know is that you want to go on top of the down tube to route here. Not go from the bottom. There's no room on the bottom. So, so yeah, there it, there it is. Beautiful TRB brakes. And, um, yeah, that's all she wrote.